Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 135, NASDAQ is down 69, SP is flat. Gold contract up $7.50, trading at 1796 an ounce. We have silver up 21 cents, 22 dollars 40 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 63 cents, 78 dollars 82 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down six ticks, trading 128.11. The 30 year off 25 ticks at 155.05 and king dollar. King dollar is down 587 ticks, traded at 95.733. The euro right now is at 113. The yen is at 115 and a half, and the British pound is at 135 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we take a look at the SPY first. What you're going to see out here, you have a contraction of volume. Bottom line, you don't have rejection of price yet, but SPY is only down 30, 31 cents. If we take a look at how we came down in the last few days, you're going to see how this shakes out. Well, first off, let's do the whole deal. You broke, you broke topside on the 27th of December. That's where I come up with the 500 figure for the SPY. Then what ends up happening is that on the 4th of January, you broke a B point, you broke with volume. That gave us a 501.21 or 501.76. I forget, it's one of those. Bottom line is $501. Then Wednesday, it destroyed the ABC down. Why? Because you, you came back under the range with volume, that you can make the case also that now it's a false break topside, so it negates the deal. That being said, first day you come down with 104 million. Second day, yesterday, you come down with 86 million. We're only going to do about 65 today. So the bottom line is it's really going to be depending on where we close. If you close inside the 468.28, it's almost like, okay, you're closing inside the largest bar. Let's say, okay, you're still going to bounce next week. And I do expect, what we're going to see here is that I expect a bounce. I don't expect a, a new high. Oh, we might, we might do a spike high. So what a spike high would be is this. Spike high is that, you know, we, we're getting close to, like, the high is 479. Let's say you get up to 478 or something. You wake, you wake up in the morning, it spikes through the 479.98, and then give it about 30 seconds to a minute and a half, gives it up in spades, and then she starts coming lower. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. What you have with the three Qs, same type of setup. The difference in the three Qs is that it's much clearer to me, and I'd say the probability is much higher that the assessment's gonna be correct that we're gonna go down to 350. The, the three Qs are at 380 right now. And the reason is that when you set this up, you put a couple you know, trend lines at the top and the bottom, you can see quite clearly, the, the first high was generated 61 million shares inside the queues. That was generated on the 22nd of November. It tested it with 33 million. So you had 61 testing with 33. The lows, and if you have my, my book, The Out of Time in the Trade, I have plenty of examples in here of how, of charts, number one, and how you're looking at supply and demand. This is just like screaming. Every time at the bottom of consolidation, the first time we had, now remember, at highs, 61 million, and then the test of that was 33 million. At lows, first low, 105 million. Second low, 67 million. Third low, 65 million. This low is going to be probably 70 million. That's building cause to blow this apart and get down to the next level. The real kick, kicker is how far is the NDX 100 going to bounce before it does it? My take is that we are going to bounce. And, you know, depending on how or what you trade, uh, the bottom line, my take would be that you sell 
the bounce. Gold. Gold contract out here. Nice setup. And particularly when we get to the dollar, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. Uh, but what gold did, pretty amazing, actually. Gold went to the highs of the lows, right to the cent, which is just amazing, actually, and rejected it. You know, that bottom line, what that says, we're going topside once again. And this is going to be all about the good old U.S. dollar. And the, the dollar, folks, has been hanging in this consolidation for a long time, since so December 24th, I think. Yeah, it is. So it's, no, 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 November 24th, since so Thanksgiving. So what we have here is this. And we've had long price bars, both on the way up and on the way down. So the bottom line, this is still not out of a consolidation. My take is that we've been building cars here to get down to where we actually broke out. And what would end up happening, you'd have to close under 95, uh, 517. And we're at 95, 750. You know, and we were, at, you know, it saved itself. We were at 95, uh, 57 only uh, last Friday, you know. So, but if we break it, guess what? You'll be back to the consolidation. What that would do, that would put juice underneath all the commodities and in particular, put some real juice underneath the gold market. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, we have uh, uh, Lucid's up uh, $3. You got Apple up a buck. You got Advanced Micro down three forty seven. dollars NVIDIA's down $7.5. You get Tesla off 36 uh, Inside of the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Uh, Mercado Libre is down 6%. You get Xilinx down 4.5%. T-Mobile, is that T-Mobile? Yeah, T-Mobile's down 4.5%. Um, putting some power into the NDX is that you get uh, Lucid up 8.5%. You get Pindor Duo up 7.5%. Peloton's up 5.5%. And, and you have Airbnb up 3.5%. Uh, we go over and we take a look. Okay, so Airbnb, interesting. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 92. The Nasdaq's down 106. S&Ps are off 8.5. We'll come right back.